in search of empty pleasures true. Happiness is found in enjoying the present without anxiously depending on the future the relentless pursuit of material possessions and wealth is a habit that often leaves us empty and unsatisfied this weakens our sense of contentment and distracts us from the deeper and more meaningful aspects of life excessive materialism arises from insatiable desire for more and the mistaken belief that possessions will bring lasting happiness instead direct your focus towards cultivating virtues like wisdom courage and kindness which are the true sources of fulfillment stop seeking things that happen and start seeking things that never happen seeking external validation is a habit that often makes us vulnerable to the opinions and judgments of others this weakens our self-esteem and happiness because it places our self-worth in the hands of others life is a journey full of ups and downs challenges and triumphs it is a constant battle between our inner strengths and weaknesses while we all aspire to live a life of, of purpose and resilience there are habits that often prevent us from reaching our full potential in this transformative journey we will explore seven habits that weaken you and learn how to overcome them using the principles of stoicism stoicism and ancient greek philosophy founded by zeno of citium in the early third century bc offers timeless wisdom that can help us navigate the complexities of modern life stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control cultivate virtues like wisdom courage and self-discipline and accept the inevitable challenges of life with grace and resilience as we explore these seven habits remember that self-awareness is the first step towards transformation by recognizing and acknowledging these habits within us we can begin the journey to replace them with historical principles that empower us to lead a Life of strength, purpose, and inner peace. Habit 1 Procrastination of Time Epic. Tetis said the key is to surround yourself only with people who uplift you. Procrastination, the act of delaying tasks and responsibilities, is a habit that afflicts many of us. It weakens our resolve, hinders our progress, and ultimately robs us of precious time that could be invested in personal growth and meaningful. Procrastination lies in the concept of carpe diem or seizing the day in stoicism. The focus is on the present moment not the future or the discomfort of the task. At hand to overcome this habit we must adopt a stoic mindset and remember that the only moment we truly control is now. A historical philosopher advised us to focus on what is within our reach and Abandon what is not procrastination. Often arises from a focus on the potential outcomes or difficulties of a task rather than simply taking action by adopting the historical principle of focusing on the process rather than the result we can free ourselves from the shackles of procrastination start by setting small manageable goals and consistently working to achieve them. Embrace the discomfort and uncertainty of the present moment for it is in these challenging times that we grow and develop the strength to face larger tasks habit too negative. Self-talk the inner enemy Marcus. Aurelius said our life is what our thoughts make it the way we speak to ourselves has a profound impact on our self-esteem confidence and overall well-being negative self-talk is a habit that weakens us undermining our self-confidence and preventing us from realizing our true potential stoicism teaches us to take control of our thoughts and replace negativity with rationality and self-compassion marcus elius one of the most renowned historical philosophers and roman emperors emphasized the 
Importance of monitoring our internal dialogue He believed that our perception of the world is shaped by our thoughts. Thoughts and thus we must strive to maintain a positive and rational mindset to combat negative self-talk. Begin by observing your thoughts without judgment notice when self-criticism or self-doubt arises and challenge these thoughts with reason ask yourself if these thoughts are based on evidence or are merely products of fear and insecurity stoicism encourages us to practice self-compassion by treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding we would offer a friend facing a similar situation instead of berating yourself for perceived mistakes or shortcomings. Focus on what you can learn from them and how you can improve by replacing negative self-talk with historical principles of rationality and self-compassion you will discover inner strength and resilience that empower you to face life's challenges with confidence and and grace habit 3. External validation Epicus known for his teachings on self-mastery emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not seeking. External validation falls into the category of what is beyond our control. We cannot control how others perceive or judge us but we can control our thoughts, actions and character. To break free from the approval trap. Start by recognizing the futility of seeking validation from external sources. Understand that no matter how hard you try, you cannot control others. Opinions instead focus your energy on cultivating virtues like wisdom, integrity, and kindness. Stoicism encourages aligning your actions with your own principles and values rather than seeking EX external approval when you act in accordance with your moral compass you will find a much more meaningful and lasting internal validation than external praise habit. 4. Complaining the habit of victimization Marcus Aurelius stated if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Complaining is a habit that weakens your focus on the negative aspects of life, promotes a victim mentality and perpetuates a cycle of helplessness. Stoicism teaches us to shift our perspective and take responsibility for our reactions and attitudes regardless of the circumstances as Marcus Aelius emphasized in his meditations our perception of external events is ultimately controlled by our interpretation of those events. It's not the events themselves that cause us stress but our interpretation of them complaining about external circumstances only reinforces a mindset of powerlessness and dissatisfaction to break the habit of Complaining start by practicing gratitude and changing your perspective. Instead of focusing on what you lack or what's going wrong concentrate on what you have and what's going well consider the bigger picture and recognize that challenges and setbacks are opportunities for growth and learning stoicism encourages us to accept the inherently unpredictable nature of life and develop emotional resilience in the face of adversity by reframing your perspective and taking responsibility for your reactions you'll find that complaining no longer has control over you and you can face life's challenges with a sense of empowerment. Habit 5 Excessive Materialism The pursuit of empty pleasures the key to happiness is found in enjoying the present without anxiously depending on the future the relentless pursuit of material possessions and wealth is a habit that often leaves us feeling empty and unsatisfied it weakens our sense of contentment and distracts us from deeper 
and more meaningful aspects of life. Stoicism teaches us to find happiness in the present moment and focus on cultivating internal virtues rather than external possessions center are prominent. Historical philosopher emphasized the importance of distinguishing between desires and needs excessive materialism stems from an insatiable desire for more and the mistaken belief that possessions will bring lasting happiness to overcome the habit of excessive materialism. Start by practicing contentment with what you have recognized that the pursuit of material possessions often leads to a cycle of desire and dissatisfaction instead direct your focus toward cultivating virtues like wisdom courage and kindness which are the true sources of fulfillment stoicism also encourages mindfulness and gratitude by appreciating the simp simple joys of life and finding joy in the present moment when you detach your happiness from material possessions and external status symbols you'll discover a profound sense of inner peace and contentment habit 6 avoiding challenges the trap of the comfort zone if you wish to improve be willing to be seen as foolish and stupid avoiding challenges and staying within your comfort zone is a habit that stifles your growth and potential it prevents you from developing resilience courage and the ability to adapt to new situations stoicism teaches us to embrace discomfort and adversity as opportunities for growth and self-improvement epicus believed that personal growth and self-mastery often come through facing challenges and stretching our limits avoiding challenges not only limits your potential but also keeps you from experiencing the stoicism encourages us to step out of our comfort zone and confront the unknown with courage and determination to break the habit of avoiding challenges start by identifying areas in your life where you tend to shy away from challenges whether in your career relationships or personal pursuits recognize where you've been playing it safe and commit commit to taking calculated risk stoicism emphasizes the importance of practicing virtue in the face of adversity when confronted with challenges focus on cultivating virtues such as resilience patience and perseverance embrace the discomfort of the unknown and trust in your ability to adapt and grow habit s dwelling on the past the chain of regret you have power over your mind not external events realize this and you will find strength ruminating on the past especially past mistakes and regrets is a habit that weakens your ability to move forward and find peace in the present it can lead to feelings of guilt shame and stagnation stoicism teaches us to accept the past as it is and focus on what is with within our control the present and the future as marcus aurelius stated in his meditations we have power over our minds and thoughts even if we cannot change the past revisiting past mistakes only perpetuates the cycle of regret and self-blame to overcome the habit of dwelling on the past understand that making mistakes is a natural part of being human and does not define your worth or potential practice self-compassion and forgiveness by treating yourself with the same kindness you would offer a friend in a similar situation instead of berating yourself for perceived mistakes or shortcomings focus on what you can learn from them and how you can improve stoicism also encourages focusing on the present moment and taking meaningful actions toward your future goals and aspirations when you shift your focus from the past to the, the present you'll find a renewed sense of purpose and the strength to create a brighter future in search of a new perspective and a more fulfilling life stoic philosophy teaches 
us to transform habits that weaken us into principles that strengthen us now is the time to begin this journey of self-discovery comment below i am a new person let's embark on this quest for growth purpose and inner peace together if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave your comment and share your insights we look forward to hearing about your transformation journey and remember change starts with a single step in search of a new perspective and a more fulfilling life stoic philosophy teaches us to transform habits that weaken us into principles that strengthen us now is the time to begin this journey of self-discovery comment below i am a new person let's embark on this quest for growth purpose and inner peace together. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave your comment and share your insights we look forward to hearing about your transformation journey and remember change starts with a single